Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Um, I got a couple of videos for you from around my old hometown of Victoria, BC. So in this first video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the coastline around downtown. Um, we'll start over here. You can see the inner harbor of Victoria here. But uh, we're going to walk along here, this Lime Bay Park. We stopped at the, a Spinnaker's restaurant. And I'll give you a look at this uh, a new super yacht marina that's just being completed down here. I'll also shoot across to a West Bay Marine Village here where they also have some pretty cool little uh, RV park spots here right on the water. Um, definitely not a cheap place to camp, I'm sure of that, but it's right on the marina. And you can take little water taxis across the marina into downtown Victoria where all the the main sites are. So after we're finished there I'll show you a bit of footage of driving along uh, Wharf Street here past uh, the Empress Hotel and the legislature and what we're doing is we're headed over to a, a real favorite spot of mine called Clover Point Park down here. It's kind of a little jut of land with a loop for parking and I'm going to go down on the, the rocks here and give you some footage of the views down there. It was just a spectacular day with hardly any wind or surf at all. So uh, the tide was right out. So some pretty cool footage of that. And then when we're finished that, we'll uh, give you a little footage of driving along Dallas Road here back. And we'll stop at Fisherman's Wharf right down here, which is a really neat little... Uh, bunch of docks and stuff and I caught the the coho ferry coming in that's the ferry from Port Angeles that I took about a week ago and then I'll just give you a quick look at some of the some of the little um, restaurants and stuff down on the dock and finish it up with a bit of uh, driving footage through downtown Victoria okay well, let's go so we just had a little lunch at this uh, Spinnaker's Brewhouse Pub. Really good uh, beer there and lunches. <laughs> just show you the scene here. We're gonna walk along the, the walkway that leads into the harbor. There's the mouth of the harbor where uh, I showed when we came home to Victoria on the Coho Ferry we came in there. You can see there's a big uh, cruise ship into Victoria right now. There's a out at Ogden Point there's a cruise ship terminal can handle I think around four cruise ships or so now. I'm just gonna take a walk along the walkway, harbor walkway, and I'll show you they're building a new uh, big yacht yacht marina down here for super yachts so I was interested I hadn't seen it close up yet. Oh, I should also show you over towards Squimalt here. There's, I think it's West Bay Marina, but it has an RV park, really cool. You can go there and uh, stay in the RV park and you have a nice view of the harbor right from your RV. They just recently built this part here. Nice place. I'll get the seaplane taken off. Out of the harbor. They have seaplanes coming in and out of the harbor all the time. They go to Vancouver and probably uh, Seattle maybe. there the brand new super yacht marina they built so 
I think we're gonna go around and uh, go through Beacon Hill Park and then go to along Dallas Road along the coastline there so I'll give you a bit of footage there Here I am down at the rocks, the very tip of Clover Point. I used to like to come down here when I lived in Victoria and park at Clover Point and enjoy the view. So let's give you a little uh, 360 of the view down here. It's a beautiful day today. May 6th, let's be up near 70 degrees. You can see over there, it's Gonzales. They call it Gonzales Hill. So I'm shooting towards the east, down the Juan de Fuca Strait. And over there we have a Trial Island and the Trial Island Lighthouse. Right there, really pretty. If it was a clear day, you would see Mount Baker behind there. So through Juan de Fuca Strait, all the big shipping comes through and the Navy ships that go into Seattle and Vancouver. Now we're shooting more towards the south and you're going to see the mountains of the Olympic Peninsula come into view. Olympic National Park in Washington Strait State. That's where we came from the other day over in Port Angeles. You see there's a couple freighters on the way. It's like out there on the way out, loaded up. So they'll go down the Juan de Fuca Strait and then out into the Pacific Ocean. Go over where they're going, just around that point out there. And back towards the waterfront, Victoria down here. They call it Dallas Road Waterfront. There's a beach down there. And then up above is uh, Beacon Hill Park. Just a beautiful park. Lots of people are out enjoying the, the sunshine, doing some rock climbing, looking in the tide pools here. Sometimes you can see whales right off the coast here. They go by orcas and humpbacks, gray whales. Because of the tidal action, where the ocean narrows into the strait here, so the tide comes in and out a couple times a day, so it brings fresh water. And the water is quite cold up here, around 50 degrees on average, so lots of oxygen in the water. So you get a lot of life. A lot of sea life here. We got some waves coming off from one of the craters coming in. It's really cool to come down and look at tide pools and stuff when the tide's out. Some of the mollusks and seashells cling into the rocks down here. Give you a little look here. It's in the tide pools. 
So I'm planning, maybe if it's a nice day, in a few days I'm going to go out on the, the western side of the island, out near uh, Jordan River and Port Renfrew. I want to go to a place called Britannical Beach that has some amazing tide pools out there. So if it works out, I'll, I'll take you out there and have a look. There's a big yacht taking off. Well, not massive, but uh, more than I can afford, that's for sure. Maybe it's a whale watching boat or charter boat, I'm not sure. Looks like there's a bunch of people on board. A lot of whale watchers come out of Victoria and they go over to. Uh, in between Washington State and BC there's a lot of islands and there's a, a pod of uh, resident orca killer whales that stay there all year round. So they go over and check it out. Also we're getting a lot of humpbacks lately. There goes a fast whale watching boat. Sipping out there on one of these zodiacs. I usually put them in orange life suits just in case they go into the water. Exhilarating ride, I guess. Unless you have a bad back or something. Oh, big turn. I wonder if they spotted a whale. I think they're just giving them some fun. There is a lot of construction in Victoria. Seem to be building condos everywhere and ripping up roads. It's really growing fast. I guess you can see why it's so beautiful here. A little too many people for my taste now, but it's nice to visit. Mr. Stork came for a visit. Let's see if he gets any fish here. Well, looks like you got something. Good job.
There's a Coho Ferry coming over from Port Angeles. That's the same one we came over on. Leaves there around 2 o'clock. People are having a nice ride today. Nice and calm. I'd go down to Fisherman's Wharf, number one Dallas Road. Give you a look at it. And the Coho Ferry is just about to enter the harbor pretty soon. If you see that video when I returned from the snowbird trip, I took a, a video shot over here of the Fisherman's Wharf. It's where a lot of the commercial fishermen come in. Now they have a lot of little uh, townhouse community down here. And of course, there's a nice fish and chip shop down there. You get a lot of the seals hanging around here. It's quite a touristy spot. So we'll give you a shot of the Coe Hill Ferry coming into the harbor. It should blast its horns when it starts to get in. So that's come from Port Angeles, Washington. And then the decks below, you can uh, put your RV on there come over to Victoria. Ours is 45 feet long, costs 225 American dollars to get it over here. Should blow its horn pretty soon. A huge starfish down there below the pier. That's a massive one. It's huge. Must be about a foot and a half across. That oh, goose oh. did not like that fairy horn. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay, there's not a giant goose coming. Wow, this place has changed since I was here. There used to be one fish and chip joint. <laughs> Barb's fish and chips, that was it down here. Now it's practically a food fair.